First, our top story this half an hour, communism's popularity surging among young Americans. Communism. 70% <laughs> of millennials would likely vote for a socialist candidate for president, according to a new survey by the Victims of Communism Memorial Foundation and uh, YouGov. And while 80% of Americans say they trust themselves over government and community to take care of their own interests, younger generations are about 25% less likely to agree. Joining us right now is Victims of Communism Memorial Foundation Executive Director Marion Smith. Marion, good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. My pleasure. Why do you think socialism is so hot among younger people? Well, clearly, um, you know, there is a rising trend of socialist sentiment among especially millennials, uh, but also Gen Zers. And uh, we saw that compared to last year, uh, the number of millennials saying they're extremely likely to vote socialist doubled. And totally, it's 70% uh, of uh, millennials say that they would vote for a socialist. Um, so this is, you know, clearly a trend reflected in other polls. Um, but our poll also found that 66% of Americans uh, are unable to accurately define uh, socialism. Uh, they don't know what Marxism actually is. And so it is sort of uh, false advertising, if you will, um, to have people like Bernie Sanders uh, pointing to the high tax welfare states of Europe and Scandinavia and saying that that's socialism, whereas in reality, socialism, uh, communist regimes around the world uh, look more like uh, malnutrition in Venezuela, uh, poor health care in Cuba, uh, forced labor in North Korea. Uh, that's the true uh, consequence of public ownership of the means of production, uh, which is the fundamental definition of socialism. Can, can you just explain your group w w what the Victims of Communism Memorial Fund is doing? Um, we, we, I mean, we're saying that they, they you know, favor uh, or embrace communism. It's really socialism. Well, I think uh, Lenin said it best that the end goal of socialism <laughs> is communism. Um, okay. the, the two terms are intricately linked historically and intellectually. Um, for Marx, uh, communism represented the ultimate stage of uh, the socialist uh, path forward. Uh, you might say that socialists go to communism in much the same way that Christians go to heaven. Um, after the Bolshevik Revolution, Vladimir Lenin immediately realized uh, that communism was, was so far from the experienced reality of life um, that he pushed that far into the future and established the union of Soviet socialist republics. Um, and if you look at the history uh, behind the Iron Curtain, um, they were socialist regimes. Um, they were workers' parties. Um, the end goal was communism. Uh, but the state certainly hasn't, hasn't uh, withered away yet, uh, including in uh, the current single-party communist dictatorships around the world, okay. China, Laos, Vietnam, Cuba, and North Korea. But so, what's so distressing about this, and thank you for the work that you do in terms of educating uh, people around the world about the evils of, of communism and the hundreds of millions of people who perished on this planet because of, of these um, atrocities that have happened. It, you know, the, the fact that you've got one in five young people that actually is, embrace communism, and, and another point that I think is important. You know, when you say so, when you talk to liberal Democrats like Elizabeth Warren about socialism, they say, oh, we want the good kind of socialism. And Maria, my view is there is no good socialism. It hasn't worked anywhere or any well, I'm, I'm glad you mentioned S Senator Warren because yeah. the billionaire investor Paul Tudor Jones is warning that Elizabeth Warren's proposed wealth tax could tank stock markets 25 percent. I, I totally agree with that. So. I mean, the whole, you know, the green agenda, Medicare for all, the, the wealth tax, the increase in tax rates to 50 to 60, 70 percent. I mean, who would want to invest well, in that? Tax, increased yeah, exactly. taxes, yeah. No, the, but the argument, the, the mathematical, the financial argument will not resonate with younger people as much as the freedom argument. Exactly. The argument that you will not be free to make decisions mm -hmm. with your own money for your livelihood, about your family, and even about your health care. We have a hideous history in this country when the government intervenes in people's health we have had well the eugenics movement which ran in this country until 1979 that people were being sterilized against their will 
thousands of people. The biggest state, the biggest culprit was, guess where, California. So all the liberalism that was percolating and growing over decades, that's what happens when the government and people in power with nobody to answer to, that's what happens when you have government control. Mm -hmm. Mary? Well, I mean, this is what elections are about. Uh, they're about an honest conversation about where we want to go. I guess my problem is that uh, the way socialism is being used is disingenuous. Mm -hmm. um, w you know, we can have give and take. Um, a high tax welfare state is that. Uh, they take a lot, but supposedly give you a lot in terms of wealth, welfare services. Um, the problem with socialism is it's all take and no give. And I think that the normalization of the term socialism that we've seen since 2016 is dangerous. And I don't think democratic socialism is any clearer or more desirable a term than democratic fascism. I think it's dangerous and it should be outside the limits of America's uh, political discourse. That's amazing to me. One thing that's distressing is that in China, they still have Mao on their currency. I mean, that would be like the Germans having Hitler on their currency. I mean, how, is, how does that happen? Well, the People's Republic of China this month turns 70 years old. Yeah. Uh, it is an unreformed single party communist dictatorship. Uh, well, how many since people it was died? established how many people by died? Like 50 million or something? It's from... estimated some 50 million people have died as the result of communist party policies right. in China. Wow. All right, Marion, great to see you. Thanks so much. Thank you. Marion Smith joining us there. Coming up, 